Tonight, the entire engineering department is meeting with a moderator to discuss, quote, creative solutions, end quote, to our current data management system. Translation, the status quo is being threatened. Right now, the most important thing I can do is get in front of this by being first. So, here I am, extra early, to set things up for the moderator. I think she'll appreciate this when she comes in. It's like we're already on the same team. I've been uh, volunteering for these meetings for about a year now, helping people with their data management issues. You know, um, version control, project collaboration, workflow management. Uh, like most things, it's getting them to admit they even have a problem. Agreed. <laughs> and those unwilling to adapt, like Charles. Charles is a dinosaur. I mean, his naming conventions, he <laughs> starts with the current date, then adds the project number in increments of one for each new version, then adds his initials, and then the new date in digits, yada yada, until the name starts to wrap on the screen. It's ridiculous. Not to mention he never updates assemblies or drawings references, so you know, they're always broken. I've been to loads of these things, but I don't know why. It's a waste of time. Nothing's gonna stop my colleagues from naming files after superheroes. Hey, everybody! Eddie. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. It's really rewarding, you know, to hear that other people are going through the same problems as you are. It's validating, like with version control. You see, in our office, we use the files with the most recent date, and some people, they sneak in and they enter older dates on the versions that come after theirs, so they stay on top. It's confusing and it costs us time, but it's definitely creative. Clever. <laughs> this really isn't exactly my thing, but our office is a disaster. Security alone is a joke. With sharing data, we have to move files out of a release network folder into an in-process network folder for changes then we're supposed to move them all back. It's, 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 it's a shell game with data flying everywhere. It's like, where is it? Where's the right file? It's like, it's like we're being hustled by our own data. I think we can all agree that there's a collective need for a new solution. I not agree to that. Just hear me out. Yeah, come on, man, hear her out. Thank you, Todd. Look, I get it, guys. I do. I used to be exactly where you are now. The company I used to work for, uh, we would rank our projects according to the food chain. We once lost an entire month because we were arguing over who would eat who, the tiger or the bear. Right? The company almost went under. So the struggle is real, these problems are real, and they all require real solutions. Like what? Well, uh, there's a simple ROI calculator where you can see how much you can save by implementation of SolidWorks PDM. Yeah, 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 that's, that's good for our bosses, but what about us? We're just engineers trying to get our work done. Look, there's always some new tech or miracle solution, and they're all the same, gimmicks. What makes your SolidWorks PDM any different? It's always tough at first. Everyone's always resistant, and why wouldn't they be? But once they start to see the features, well, then it starts to get exciting. If they give it a chance, SolidWorks PDM could be their solution. For me, it got design data under control, improved how my teams managed and collaborated on project development, erased all anxiety over data loss, which saved us a ton of time. It just improved the overall health of our workplace. It helped me love my job again. But will they go for it? We'll see.